What's up, everybody? I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Thank you very much for tuning in to Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. Now, today on the show, we're going to jump into the very scary world of fake app store apps. Of course, there's tons and tons of fake apps on both the Apple, iOS app store, on Google Play. Uh, lots of people out there trying to scam you because these systems, of course, are designed where, you know, hundreds and hundreds of things get added to those stores every single day. The platform holds Holders, can't 100% police everything perfectly, so things are going to slip through. And the, the thing that happened here most recently is a very high-profile scam. It's it's now been taken down from the App Store, but it, so it has been dealt with. But that was a fake version of Cuphead. Now, you probably know Cuphead. It was a uh, an Xbox game. It was a, a Steam game it was on PC. Uh, this was an iOS port of Cuphead. This was reported on by Touch Arcade. And if you, if you don't know Touch Arcade, they're really awesome. They report on all the new iOS games and apps. They're a really, really great resource if you are looking for awesome iPhone and iPad game recommendations. So, of course, Touch Arcade saw that a version of Cuphead was released on iOS, got excited about it, and reported it as they would do. They thought that it was a surprise release. They posted about it, said, you know, hey, Cuphead's awesome. We've played it on these other platforms. Go check it out. Here's the link. And, of course, we, you know, are in the Christmas season, so a surprise release doesn't seem that out of the ordinary here. And we just came off a week of having really big-name console games ported over to iOS. So this kind of seemed like par for the course for things that were happening right now on iOS. And this version of Cuphead, which did turn out to be a complete scam, had nothing to do with the original developers, passed all of the normal scam tests that you would expect uh, to, to have fail if you had a scam app. For example, you know, most of these scam apps are very small in size, and once you really look at them, it's like, well, you can't fit all of the game into 40 megabytes. Well, this, you know, was fairly large. It was almost 2 megabytes in size, which was about what you would expect from from Cuphead. It had a video preview in the App Store. It seemed legit because of that. There was a link to the developer site from the App Store that had a super close URL to the actual developer of Cuphead's studio URL. Uh, the one on the App Store went to studiomdhrgames.com. The real studio has the URL studiomdhr.com. However, they did mirror the official site on the fake domain, so once you were on the website, you couldn't tell the difference between them, uh, which is super terrifying. The only way to really tell which one was real and which was fake is by looking at the the registration data for the URL itself which is is certainly very wild and that wasn't even the craziest part about this game if, if even if a scam app passes all of those things the whole point of a scam app is to trick you into downloading it getting your five or ten dollars and then you know hoping that you don't have the uh, the time to go through the return process to go through the refund process they're not trying to give you an actual functioning game an actual functioning app this one however when you downloaded it, was it was cuphead uh there's there's video out there of it right now if you want to go check out what it was like but you know it had a, a couple little glitches here and there a couple little things with the way the character moved was maybe like not exactly up to par and of course it didn't have like touch uh screen controls like it still said click instead of touch things like that but for the most part this was a a highly functioning version of cuphead it had all the cutscenes, it had multiple save slots it had all the music it controlled and ran at the speed and at the exact in the exact way you would expect cuphead to if i showed you video of this game running and video of actual cuphead you would you would see they're almost identical which is certainly terrifying uh, you know, the, the they even had like controls on the screen that were kind of drawn in the style of Cuphead. They made perfect sense. It seems like something that the developers of, of Cuphead would have actually created. Um, so 
even playing this game, you might have thought this doesn't maybe seem up to like the quality standards because of the few glitches here and there, but you would have assumed, okay, this is a legit game. Maybe they'll patch it coming up here soon. So scams this good are scary, certainly scary. You know, there's, there's, always, you know, going to be scams, but the fact that a scam could actually fool you and uh, and you might not be giving money to the actual developers, you might be, you know, downloading something to your phone that could potentially be dangerous in addition to being a game like this is a pretty terrifying concept. So Tetracade, since realizing that, that, that this was a fake, have, have amended their original story to say, don't download it, it's a scam, and now, of course, it's been taken down from the App Store. Uh, but they also looked into a little bit how this could happen, and they got an anonymous source to write in to kind of talk through it with them a little bit. And what it seems like it, it could potentially have happened is this could actually be the result of a porting outfit. So a company that uh, actually does the work professionally of taking a, an existing game and porting it o over to the App Store, over to mobile. Sometimes in situations like that, these porting outfits will do some or all of the work to copy these games over to whatever platform they're talking about. And then they'll go work on getting the deal, getting the licensing, getting that contract signed. If you show up to a developer and say, hey, we've got your game running on iOS, we want to launch it, all we need to do is sign this contract and then you'll start getting money, a lot of people will end up doing that. So it could be that that's what happened, is that some, some company decided to port Cuphead to iOS, they couldn't get the deal signed, and then maybe an employee stole it, or... The company just decided to go ahead and put it out anyway. The the source that Touch Arcade was talking to said that that's actually what happened. They in in their particular case that they were trying to get their game running on iOS. They couldn't really come to an agreement with the porting outfit, so the deal fell through. And then the porting outfit continued to put the game out without any contract signed whatsoever. You know, a lot of these companies are, are based overseas and don't have the same kinds of ramifications for that copyright infringement that a company in the U.S. would have. So they can go ahead and do something like that and get the little slap on the wrist they might have in the app store once they're found out. But in the meantime, maybe they've made a bunch of money off of unsuspecting people for downloading those games. So certainly, certainly a scary, scary prospect. Again, you don't have to worry about this particular app, but be wary of things like this in the future. This is why it's always a good idea to read at least a review of the game that you want to download on the platform that you want to download it on. Even if you know you're going to love the game, it'll tell you about weird things like this, like, hey, it's fake, or hey, even though you like this game and all, all, these, all these other platforms, it runs at half the frame rate. You know, it's always good to go do a little bit of consumer research before throwing your hard-earned money at something. Now, also keep in mind, if you do get caught in a scam on the App Store or Google Play, there is a process for getting a refund on either, the, either of these things. A simple Google will take you to how to go through that process. It is painless. It's easy to do. Just do it. Uh, don't, let, don't let these jerks keep your money. So that is the wild and crazy story that happened this week with the Cuphead iOS scam. That's going to do it for Pretty Dece for today. Uh, thank you very much for coming along for this fun little story. Make sure that you like Pretty Dece on Facebook, facebook.com slash Pretty Show. Follow me on Twitter at Pretty Dece Show and visit prettydeceshow.com. I'll be back tomorrow. As always, until then, make sure you hit that subscribe button on whatever platform you are listening on or watching on so you know exactly when those daily episodes drop.